so this is the hp 15s eq 0024 ao yeah that's a big name but more importantly this is the laptop it is a very uh, posh looking laptop it is plastic so yes this is plastic but it feels nice it looks uh, the silver finish is somewhat like a macbook like i know that's over exaggeration but yes the finish does look like that um to the like bottom over here there's this light lip for the above the cameras towards the bottom you'll find the heating vents so this is totally the vents that will let out the heat as for heat dissipation and these are the two rubber strips that will keep the laptop in place and will ensure that the laptop does not slide off the table io is something that i really am a bit disappointed about frankly speaking because um, the io is actually very less so this is the hdmi port there's the usb type c port there's the uh, micro sd slot and there's the my uh, headphone jack towards the other side we find just two usb type a ports and the power uh, charger with the barrel pin and that's just all like this isn't very good like even for a budget laptop i am very disappointed like i am moving from a lenovo laptop which had like a lot of ports and it had the usb 3.1 uh, type a port this one does not have that as in it is the slower variety but well let's not complain i don't have a lot of data transfer things so i don't really care about that but let's just try to open it so the first thing is can we open it with one finger yes we can you would need the second finger to press it up but then actually technically i don't want to do that you do need two fingers that was just uh, me trying something foolish but um, let me show you the zoomed in shot like this is the keyboard the keyboard is quite nice and there is a number pad so which is very useful if you are like in uh, into finance or something it is useful but for me it took some time to get accustomed to this because i was not using a laptop that had this kind of separation the trackpad is nice it's quite large but um, two scrolls aren't that great lots of stickers i hate that but i will have to apply a lot of like uh, things to clean it off so i've just left it there keyboard is quite clicky let me show you some samples of like uh, me typing so um, i'm not sure if it will capture properly or not but uh, give me a second guys so i'm going to attempt to write something and you guys can hear how the mic quality like the keyboard sounds So this is how the keyboard sounds and to my mind the keyboard is nice the uh, like travel is very nice it is much better than the chiclet keyboard that i had previously and the sound is not very high but yes there is some sound feedback which i prefer like it's better for me because like silent keycaps are not uh, of my liking so that's good the only problem that i face is the arrow keys are too small in comparison to my last laptop so that is a bit of an issue it took me some time to uh, get accustomed to that but everything else is good and some people complain that you can't see the letters properly uh, when uh, viewed from an angle but see i'll zoom in you can tell like the letters they are easily visible so yeah maybe it was an issue for them but i did not find that issue so that's great for me in terms of the display i have some good news because i personally find the display to be quite good this is the lowest brightness and i have to do so because the exposure controls are a bit weird on my old nokia uh, sorry nikon <laughs> like nikon uh, nikon camera but yeah the display is quite good it's a matte screen so i do not face the issue with my previous laptop the issue was that uh, there were some reflection issues like everything just reflected this is not happening with my screen and and the peak brightness is good i have seen that in proper sunlight i am facing some issues but still it's good like i am this is not a review i'll do a review post the one month mark this is just a week later but still yeah this is the peak brightness i know the exposure is a bit off but this is just me trying to show you guys how the brightness will be the colors are good the display needed a little bit of calibration like i found it to be a little bit too warm for my liking but i fixed that uh, with the amd graphics settings now we forgot to discuss what the specifications are so the specifications are the Ryzen 3500U processor paired with the Vega 8 graphics 512GB of SSD and 8GB of RAM uh, the RAM is LPDDR4X and basically the laptop is quite good like this is a great laptop for example now I'll just put the laptop to sleep and then again like boot it up this is the laptop has gone to sleep yeah this was fast like this is good fast so uh, this was the boot up time but uh, from sleep but let me shut it down now yeah it has shut down 
now let's try it like this wasn't very fast sometimes i get it too fast uh, i was having some stuff running in the background and it took some time to set that out but still this is quite fast like my old laptop took like uh, like 3 minutes to boot up so that's uh, better on this but yeah now let's go on to the audio test post which i'll just give you my final impression coming to the final part of this uh, video this is the audio test let me just enter into full screen and then we'll start and see how good the audio is This is at 40% volume, which is already quite loud. So this was 40% volume, I won't go to 100% because there's some stuff going on but yeah, uh, to my opinion like you won't even need to go above 50% and if you're watching movies you'll go up to like 60% max. After that it just starts to get too loud for my liking but yeah the speakers are good the speakers are positioned towards the top i'll try to show you guys um yeah actually the thing is let me just try to move it a little bit so as you can see below the hp logo you'll see um slight grills let me like uh, focus on it as i said poor focusing like see these are the grills this this whole area is the speaker and i found the speakers to be quite good in my opinion so yeah that just concludes the uh, like initial impressions of the laptop i hope you guys like the video um i'll be back with a review soon after around a month because i want to use it thoroughly and check out how the performance is post proper usage but yeah for now i'm really loving this laptop and for my price that i bought it like 42000 rupees now it has gone up to 50 but in the big billion day sale it might go down again but for 40000 rupees 42000 rupees this is just a killer deal yes the asus vivobook 14 might offer a fingerprint sensor and backlit keyboard but i personally found the design of the hp to be much better uh, so that just concludes the video guys hope you like this video if you did consider liking the channel and uh, liking the video and subscribing to the channel because that would mean a lot hope you guys stay safe and like keep watching the videos guys <laughs>